Hi, this is Stefano Di Paola, CTO at Mandat Security and creator of uh, Dominator and Dominator Pro. I would like to show you an interesting flow in Google Plus One button, which could lead to JavaScript execution uh, and has now been fixed by Google. Since this is the kind of issues that can be found found be it with Dominator Pro, uh, let's open it and go to uh, a page hosting plus one button code. Uh, this is Dominator Pro and uh, let's go to support Google which has a uh, plus one button. Let's wait until uh, it loads and we have four alerts. Uh, here, here are the alerts and uh, let's focus on the first one. What's seen here is that um, from this, which is actually a, a f frame inside uh, inside the, 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 the page, and says that this frame has some part which is not being um, used as uh, sh it should. Uh, it says that something that comes from a location href uh, uh, is being used by an XML HTTP request open uh, function and is used as the second argument which is the URL actually and in fact this is the URL. So uh, if we uh, have a look and what, at what uh, is called here a source history we have uh, um, here how the source has been treated before it goes in the sink. So it can, the, the first part is take from the location uh, reference uh, and the regular expression is used in order to extract this then the code the URI, uh, component um, split, replace uh, uh, the first slash and with nothing with an empty string then uh, there is a con right concatenation with APIs Google com and a replace about of features with uh, these and uh, after that uh, the replace uh, of uh, a last uh, slash uh, concatenation uh, and another concatenation and in in the end the replacement of uh, what is at the beginning of uh, HTTPS uh, until uh, at the first slash. So we have here this. Actually uh, this is uh, this, it's from this. So uh, if we have a look and at where it comes and it's from the JSH parameter and so um, let's go to the uh, plus one uh, Google com uh, URL just before uh, going I want to show you that I'm logged in in Google com and uh, let's go so here what we are what we, what we have a redirection redirection and actually uh, the same one right so but this time we can actually um, control the part J S H. Uh, an interesting thing is that we can uh, try to um, add uh, a pound symbol in order to uh, since the source history says that is just taken from the URL uh, we can actually try and it will work uh, add the uh, the pound symbol in order to do not send uh, anything to the to the Google server, uh, so uh, it will be uh, completely stilled. Um, let's try to add HTTP. HTTP column slash 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 right slash slash. Uh, let's use uh, localhost in order to see if uh, the, the request is uh, accomplished and uh, let's go 
So here we have a uh, new alert. Let's see. Oh, actually, it's probably not going out because there is a slash here. In fact, uh, this is, uh, as you can see, it's not going out. It's going out, but it's going to plus.google.com. So, no, it's not possible. Actually, in the issue description, <coughs> there is there are exploitation notes uh, when uh, dealing with the URLs that um, advise us uh, to have a look at this uh, wonderful resource and project by Mr. Kotovitz, which talks about uh, uh, absolute uh, URLs variants uh, in uh, browser parsers. So uh, what here we want to um, use is the classical um, absolute URL by using double slash. So instead of HTTP columns, we just use the double slash and uh, see what happens now. Okay, so we have actually uh, now something that uh, is just like we used. Let's have a, a look at the uh, net tab and actually yeah here it is. This is the uh, request from uh, Google plus one to um, my uh, HTTPS localhost. So now uh, we have uh, uh, the possibility to uh, have uh, to give uh, to Google plus page plus one page, uh, the uh, JavaScript file, and control it. So, in order to um, use it, since now the, uh, the, the hardest part is done, uh, what we have to do is uh, use a public site, which uses HTTPS uh, with our payload, uh, which could be, for example, this one, uh, we add access control allow origin in order to uh, allow the, the cross uh, origin resource sharing and execute an alert for example and here there will be the email and the my the, the, the name of uh, the user so I think that now I can just um use this attack from dominator and security and here it is we have uh the the attack uh, that uh, is being uh executed in plus one google com and take it took uh, my email and my name from the plus one uh, google com uh, window and here it is. The the last thing, since this uh, this browser is uh, a very uh, modified version of uh, Firefox, we want to probably uh, try to use it on a real browser like Chrome or Firefox. Let's use it on Chrome, and uh, let's go. Here it is. So now we have. Uh, uh, JavaScript execution by uh, without seeing any mm, line of code by using Dominator Pro. That's it. Uh, I'll be glad to have some feedback about Dominator Pro and this issue and anything else. So, cheers!